please take a moment to appreciate that by now, only one second has passed since the beginning of everything. Let's start this video by throwing a mouse, a dog, and an elephant from a skyscraper because that's a very rude thing to do. On Earth, there are about 4,500 cities or urban areas with at least 100,000 inhabitants. Some are bigger than others, so we'll assume that on average we need three nuclear bombs to completely wipe out one city. This grain of brain was cut into 25,000 slices. We screwed up. Humans have historically been horrible. Mars is awful. This lab-grown milk can even be turned into cheese. The larger ones could cause dinosaur-level mass extinctions and would be bad for the stock market. Evolve or become a blob of cancer. Here in the Kurzgesagt Labs, we only work on the most important scientific problems like what if we nuke stuff? Or how about we make this elephant explode? Or who could forget? Look at this thing. It's really big. You might be in an eternity of pain or paranoia or having an endless psychotic breakdown. Making a tumor is hard work, though. Our cells have kill switches that make them commit suicide. If you feel lonely, you are lonely. Optimistic nihilism poster that lets you enjoy some existential dread in style. Aiming for anything less than your dream job is failure. Gold is very dense, about 20 times denser than a duck. You're a loser and feel bad about yourself. Getting wet is a question of life and death. The transition towards stars begins with brown dwarfs, failed stars that are a huge disappointment to their mums. Tidal waves and misery. It's a beautiful day when suddenly a wild rusty nail appears and you cut yourself. Your mind is in your brain's structure, arrangement and biochemistry. Nuclear explosions may be big, but space is bigger. And a flaming star of nuclear death is born. String theory comes with a lot of strings attached. Just having a list of the ingredients might not be enough to get a good consciousness cake. They literally swim through the air like a tiny gross alien through syrup. OK, time to panic. This is widely considered one of the biggest anime betrayals in evolutionary history. A toaster that is unable to move, mind being locked in a cage. Nuclear weapons are about you. It's alive. We can leave nuclear power plants online longer. But what if we programmed a robot to feel pain and emotions? Einstein thought of it first and then decided it was stupid. Terminator seeds. What can robots demanding rights teach us about ourselves? At first glance, Mars seems familiar. An example of this intelligent behavior is hoarding food to eat it later. An ant is pretty stupid. Even more problematic is that we have an economic interest in denying robot rights. Let's drop our nuclear pile in the middle of the Amazon rainforest, just to show nature who's boss. So don't buy real estate on Triton. I'm a Hitler. Throw the global pie. Mars moons are very convenient. So while you're waiting to see if the universe gets destroyed, loneliness makes you sit far away from others in class. Every single thing that's moving on screen has been moved manually. So for now, we only know that wormholes exist in our hearts and on paper in the form of equations. The most famous use of quantum computers is ruining IT security. So why not simulate quantum physics with actual quantum physics? Toxic is toxic. That's good stuff right there. Let's create a black hole with dirty laundry. Like a clown car filled with an infinite amount of information clowns. Cosmic housekeeping. The problem is that people are unreliable. Every second of your life you are under attack. But if we still squeeze the sock in with a lot of energy and violence, the room collapses in on itself and forms a black hole. A B cell and a T cell with the same setup meet, hell breaks loose. This is a handprint, but not a hand. You can go to the fake cave we've built. A slow pandemic will not be remembered by the history books. How to steal energy from a monster. The effects on the solar system are awesome, 
in the biblical sense of awesome, which means terrifying. But a meat explosion is much more fun than melting an elephant into a mass of hot goo. Our consciousness is trapped in mortal machines made of meat. That cute girl or boy you like, ask them out. The Earth Moon Black Hole of Death system. This would usually hurt a tree, but these insects belong to a small group of VIPs. The weight of the atmosphere and also atmospheric pressure nearly quadruples, which is a bad thing if you like living. Sometimes the world feels, hmm, boring. Over the next few months, we'd like to make more videos about cataclysmic destructive events because, honestly, it's a lot of fun to make these. Imagine that, killing someone from the inside and then taking their skin as camouflage. Brutal. Imagine someone coming into your kitchen and taking a few tools, a pan and your garbage. I'm Jesus. Neutron star cores are like fossils. But on the moon, well, you know by now, no atmosphere, no mushroom. Picture yourself as a slinky falling down an escalator moving upwards. Black holes are the ultimate hard drive. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We first need to know the rules before we learn how they can be broken. Internet was also invented, which led to memes, but also to Facebook and Twitter. So all in all, we're not sure if this was a good development. Poison is really just a question of different perspectives. So the whole universe, it's just an egg. They look more like huge potatoes than moons. Are you God? Yes. In 2019, scientists successfully mapped a cubic millimeter of mouse brain, roughly the size of a big grain of sand. If we make this more complex and add in a few more atoms, we get a banana. When Picasso saw the cave paintings on a visit that year, he reportedly said, we have invented nothing. Suppose a US nickel with a mass of about five grams magically collapsed into a black hole. We had found a way to create a bigger pie. But not only a bigger pie, but a pie that was growing bigger each year. There are other things floating elegantly through the water. Plastic bags that were found by scientists in 2018. The hand stencils at Lascaux say, I was here. They say, you are not new. Or let us imagine an experiment. You and a random person from the street exchange cells. So when the workers tap the larvae's heads on the leaf, they release their sticky thread like tiny, cute glue guns. So is Sub-Saharan Africa doomed? Don't die yet, we still need you. Bringing matter from here to our lab is what experts call a very bad idea. In one instant, basically all of humanity gets smashed into red puddles. But just quoting stuff is boring, so let's conduct a very important scientific experiment with an imaginary 100 megaton thermonuclear warhead. Antibiotics are like carpet bombing. If another star came too close to us, its gravity would pull on everything in the solar system like a spoiled toddler. The universe is a hologram. If you go into a black hole, you won't become the stuff coming out of the white hole. You'll only become dead. The pleasant warmth you feel at the beach is your skin heating up from exposure to electromagnetic infrared radiation from the sun. It might be a weird concept, but injecting the deadliest being on planet Earth directly into our bodies could save millions of lives. You can literally throw an ant from an aeroplane and it will not be seriously harmed. So, we've covered the space around our planet with millions of deadly pieces of destruction. With Brilliant, you finish your day a little bit smarter. And no Mars dust to deal with. But what about plants that have been engineered to be toxic? you really might be stretched over a flat screen at the end of the universe. One raccoon came up with a much better solution. It tipped the tub over. So if your toaster's hardware was powerful enough, it may become self-aware. What if you could use genetic engineering to stop humanity's most dangerous predator? France started to train eagles to hunt terrorist drones. A Czech nuclear power plant held a bikini contest to pick their new intern and people on the internet made a challenge out of eating bleach. You know, the usual stuff. Now we can finally talk about the most dangerous substance. 
Hmm, okay, there may be a lesson to take away here, but we're not sure what it is. We did all the maths, though. We've also talked to many different scientists for this video, and they disagreed on a lot of things. So, we've covered the space around our planet with millions of deadly pieces of destruction. And we also put a trillion dollar global infrastructure network right in the danger zone. Faith can move mountains, but sugar water can't cure cancer. It's more of a splash than a crash. Our gut is like a garden in which we constantly decide what will grow and blossom. Okay, so are we being simulated? Well, maybe. Why are you still here? Which would mean that the vast majority of all conscious beings that will ever have existed are simulated. Humans are expensive to keep alive. We only need enough universe to fool the inhabitants of our simulation into thinking that they're real. You might be on a small planet speeding through eternal nothingness or a simulation inside a computer. Your existence does not become more or less scary and bizarre. Together, the leptons and quarks are the matter particles. They make up all the things you see. The air you breathe, the sun that warms you, the computer you're using right now to distract yourself from the stuff you should be doing. Bishops move diagonally, massless particles move at the speed of light, knights can jump, gravity attracts. Protons and neutrons rearrange, making long cylinders or sheets, enormous nuclei with millions of protons and neutrons shaped like spaghetti and lasagna, which physicists call nuclear pasta. Eventually, beneath the pasta, we reach the core. Imagine NASA announced today that they found aliens. Bacteria on Mars, weird alien fish in the oceans of Europa, and also ancient alien ruins on Titan. Wouldn't that be great? Well, no, it would be horrible news. Devastating, even. But the absolute best kind of neutron stars are friends with other neutron stars. Since the EU is ridiculously complex, and politicians are even worse than scientists at naming things, that's Mount Everest in a cup of coffee. The way we treat animals will probably be one of the things future generations will look down on in disgust. While all these things are true, something else is true too. Steak is amazing. Burgers are the best food. Chicken wings taste great. The daytime sky had a tiny yellow ball that warmed our skin. Being a citizen of the European Union means that many aspects of our lives are regulated by a weird entity. One of the aliens might think for a second, Oh, tiny little apes, they build really cute concrete structures. Oh well, now they're dead, before activating warp speed. The daytime sky had a tiny yellow ball that warmed our skin. The road to deadly nuclear weapons is always paved with peaceful reactors. Tiny Finland. Do you feel uncomfortable now? Europeans are really good at war. They come in various degrees of scary. More people is going to mean more people. If you don't remember the 13.75 billion years that went by before you existed, then the trillions and trillions and trillions of years that come after will pass in no time once you're gone. And we'll be back in the year 12,017. In the 1960s, scientists bombarded plants with radiation. We don't know any more about human existence than you do. In a way, it feels like the cruelest joke in existence has been played on us. All we might need is for someone to convince a smart billionaire to make it their next problem to solve. Okay, wait a second. These strange thingies make up all the matter in the universe. Human existence is scary. Our videos induce existential dread in many people, and the last few minutes probably haven't helped. Human society is extremely complex and fragile, built upon various pillars. One of them is the honeybee. The last words of every advanced civilization would be, this new device will solve all of our problems once I push this button. What if our universe comes with a self-destruct button to eliminate itself so cleanly and efficiently that every single physical thing would just stop existing and life would be impossible forever? 
If you had to choose right now, how long would you want to live? But humans decided that space starts here. We call this rock Earth. So for now, we only know that wormholes exist in our hearts and on paper in the form of equations. Imagine NASA announced today that they found aliens. We have ugly underground subway stations. This is funky. Terminator seeds. The remaining 7% is a tour of the periodic table of elements. Nitrogen, calcium, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, magnesium, iron, fluorine, zinc, copper, iodine, selenium, chromium, manganese, molybdenum, cobalt, lithium, strontium, aluminium, silicon, lead, vanadium, arsenic, and bromine. Whew. By the way, this also means you're about 0.5% metal, no matter what your favorite music is. The internet became a communication tool, a retail tool, a research tool, a propaganda tool, a spying tool, a shopping tool, a dating tool, an entertainment tool, and a way of skiving off work while making it look like you're working or studying, which is what you may be doing now. We could say you touched every living being that came before you with your DNA. A really daunting and depressing hypothesis is that once a species takes control over its planet, it's already on the path to self-destruction. Technology is a good way to achieve that. Evolution, then, is the answer to the question that we have all asked on seeing a Dachshund and a Great Dane together. So, you could call yourself a temporary collection of atoms. You are not alone. You never were. You never will be. Wow. Okay, Ebola is nasty. Then our pill would be the diameter of the distance between the Earth and the Sun. 150 million kilometers. A pill so massive that it would collapse into a black hole under its own mass. So our bodies do not only accept the invasion of microorganisms, they welcome it. Every sip of water would be a supercharged homeopathic cocktail. That's very easy. You just transplant some healthy poop. Imagine the smartest ant on Earth living next to an amusement park. It's curious about what humans are up to, so you try to explain. Unfortunately, the ant just doesn't understand. You, dear viewer, are living in a simulation. So don't burn your house down to test if there will be glitches. Your body might feel like it's filled with bubbly things, but it might be empty until you open it. Who needs billions of galaxies? We only need the space our subjects are allowed to explore. Dark energy is even more strange and mysterious. We can't detect it, we can't measure it, and we can't taste it. Imagine driving a car at 100 kilometers an hour while constantly rebuilding every single part of it with stuff you collect from the street. That is what cells do. But things don't just exist, they also do stuff. You are matter. Pitch black and under a thousand atmospheres of pressure, it's a relatively pristine environment thanks to the absence of humans. A great place for our nuclear test. Humanity got a similar wish granted when we learned how to turn brown stinky goo into magic. Plastic. The planet is too big. It doesn't care. Get it for Christmas for your friends, families and kids, or to distract yourself from the fact that there are 100 billion billion Earth-like planets in the habitable zone of sun-like stars in the observable universe, and you will never visit any of them. On the fun side, we made things glow in the dark. Do you feel confused right now? We certainly do. There was liquid stuff we could drink. If the universe ends in heat death, every humiliation you suffer in your life will be forgotten. Bonus points if you make the life of other people better. More bonus points if you help build a galactic human empire. Einstein is often quoted as having said, if honeybees die out, humans will follow a few years later. Actually, he probably didn't say that, but there might be some truth in the statement. War is so 20th century. Then, where are all the aliens? If you had a sufficiently large bathtub, Saturn would swim in it. Clever Americans threatened with nuclear annihilation by the Russians? Nice idea. 
most internet traffic in 1976 was email, because academics thought electronic post-it notes were dead cool. Anyone with an unsuitable mix will be selected from the environment. The dinosaurs have disappeared, but you are alive, watching this video. At about 100 kilometers, Earth stops and space begins. It's like suddenly discovering there are elephant-sized ducks everywhere. Black holes do not just bend the stage, they're like trap doors. What we mean by lying is the concept of lies to children. Gyruses look funny. Ready? Three, two, one. Magic. Let's stop time. So to tell friend from foe, they have to touch them. There's a merciless war being fought by the true rulers of this planet. A freakish one-way time travel trip to the future where your loved ones are long dead. Very recently, viruses became even weirder. Whether you have survived this long doesn't really matter. Tomato, for example, has 35,000 genes. If there were dinosaurs watching the stars, one night they may have noticed the appearance of a new star. Caesar's legions would stand no chance against Napoleon's army. Basically, mystery genes. A lot of the debris yeeted into space. Your enemies multiply orders of magnitude faster than you. Spaghettification is only a risk with smaller black holes. So, who's right? Well, it's complicated. Your immune system is the guardian of this planet. The murder university of your thymus until you've been reduced to a thin stream of hot plasma, gobbled up in one final slurp, never to be seen again. This actually breaks the universe in really cool ways. Turns out there are giant viruses, and what happens when we blow stuff up, because it's fun. Cells of your adaptive immune system found a cheat code. This is bad. First of all, you'd see the strangest funhouse mirror in the universe. A painful death by spaghettification awaits you. Well, you just need a bit of insanity and some maths. Could you please fix... We know it sits there because we can see a number of stars being thrown around by a seemingly empty spot. It's the climate. You can drown in a pool at age seven. Your immune system is you. The reality is, well, it's complicated. We wish you a happy year, 12,022. That's two and a half Milky Ways wide. Opinion part. What can you actually do? Still, all cows burp and fart to similar degrees. Like the giraffe, a yellow animal with brown patterns that looks like a horse and an antelope had a baby with a long neck and two tiny hairy horns. 40 trillion is 4000000000000000. Most T cells are a bit disgusted and not interested. For one giant elliptical galaxy with the unoriginal name Milkdromeda, it currently spends its time eating a 70 solar mass blue giant bit by bit. You can fall from a ladder at age 60. If you don't mind freezing and suffocating, you can now take a stroll over Venus's surface. If you don't have the money or time for these things, you should feel bad. You can decide for yourself what you want to do with this information. And poop everywhere. Since you started watching this video, around 22 million stars have moved out of our reach forever. You were completely unaware of the drama yourselves had to deal with. There are way more things we know we don't know. And worse, there are probably even more things we don't even know that we don't know about. In this phase, you transition from being young to middle-aged to old. Not old old, but the young old of your 60s. Emit or die. 2. Does buying local food actually matter? 
elephants, swans and baboons that look like monsters right out of nightmares. In a sense, the universe is pulling off a great show for us, showing us things that are out of reach forever. They're so enthusiastic about killing that they kill themselves. This tiny thing bullying the star is so much smaller that we can barely even show them in comparison. Wrapping your mind around your life is pretty hard because you're up to your neck in it. Let's try something new today. We can call it Behind the Lies. A sh if you think about it, your imagination is the only thing stopping you from doing all kinds of things. It's like trying to understand the ocean while learning how to swim. How many dinosaur giraffes were there? Like a soldier decorating itself in the guts of a dead enemy. It is busy keeping you alive so you can live to whine another day. But just in general, biology trips us up. Look at your body. It's mainly squishy, gooey, soft stuff. Let's assume you are one of the lucky ones, which means you had a total of 5,200 weeks of life at your disposal when you were born. You look at your bleeding thumb that you just cut on a dirty twig in the park. How annoying! So maybe T-Rex was a cuddly fellow that spent a lot of time playing around or impressing potential mates when it was not hungry. You were pretty useless for society. If we took an honest look at what you are, you are, in a sense, nothing more than a complex tube. Granted, a tube that can close both ends. Also, a lot wetter, slimier and grosser. It would be like telling someone your whole life story on the first date, overwhelming and very likely to make them less interested in dating you. Imagine a mouse crawling into your mouth and using your guts and bones and fat tissue to build a mouse factory. All you need to do is throw something massive at a planet to make it uninhabitable. How can a thing that might be dead hunt another thing that might be dead too? Let's look at one of them. Kurzgesagt is lying to you, in every video, even in this one. When you feel down, and like there's not that much new to discover, think of gyruses and all the other elephant-sized ducks all around us. Invisible, until we look more closely. In middle America, basically any soil, vegetation or animal is just shredded into pieces and catapulted thousands of kilometers away. Finding the true nature of reality is super hard because our brains did not evolve for this job and the universe doesn't care if we understand it. But how do you learn to look at the world? If you could throw your ball fast enough, it would bend around the world and come back to you. You need to find someone who thinks you're cute. So the ultimate interplanetary annihilation weapon is probably something like a relativistic kill vehicle. Whatever the truth is, viruses are the most successful beings on this planet. Every 10 billion years, one single grain of sand falls to the bottom. A good way to explain this is by asking you to imagine an army of cooks and the first deadly bacteria that will emerge in a city on Mars in 100 years. Ultimately, we hope that we light a fire in you that... Here, we see the unnamed asteroid about to commit Speciesite. We still don't know anything for sure. Not only will it slow down the delivery of Kurzgesagt products, but also less exciting things like food. Nobody would sleep through this day. Matter bends space, and bent space tells matter how to move. But we still haven't talked about the worst thing yet. Take France and Sweden. You're not a person. You're a planet. To survive the longest, you must do nothing. And then, nothing. Why isn't the moon on its way to crash into us already? Today, we are answering an age-old, very scientific and important question. What if the moon crashes into Earth? The apocalypse has finished its warm-up act.